Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are looking at a bottle of Distill Brewing Cerise Stout Imperial. Totally radical. <laughs> Look at that 1984 looking label. It's a um, Belgian style Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels with cherries from Bloomington, Illinois. Introduced in 2010. This beer is 11% alcohol and 81 IBUs. I see that Massive Beer Reviews already reviewed it and I will be watching his review. Chocolate like aroma. Let's see about that. Subtle notes of cherries and oak as a prelude. Now I like to read these descriptions and see if it matches up. Usually it does. Rich, bitter, dark chocolate malt combined with tart cherries and oak tannins that most definitely electrify this Belgian style imperial stout smooth silk body and bone dry finish. Smooth, silky body, bone dry finish. Let's see about that. I noticed that I've been, well, I have been really concentrating on brewers' descriptions of the beer, and I've noticed that they typically do match up with what you're getting. Story behind this beer, they sent it to me. I got it yesterday. It was on my porch when I got home in a nice box with an interesting styrofoam like a holder inside the box that would hold like eight different beers and just a little bit all it required was a little bit of the um, packing plastic the shock absorbing plastic <laughs> and uh, I got this because the vertex IPA I sample was bad like came bursting out of the can and it tasted bad and they told me we watched the video they just contacted me and said there's something wrong with that beer uh, there's no way it's supposed to be like that so they sent me four new cans i tried one this morning it was fresh and it was wonderful and i scored it in an a it was everything it was supposed to be and then uh, katie says in this letter and i wrote her an email today and i said it was an a the second time they were very, she said we're very happy about that I know you are not an IPA fan, so I've included a few other treats as well. We hope you enjoy. Well, I, I am going to enjoy it, I think, and I appreciate the, the, these free beers, but um, I am an IPA fan. I wrote that to her in the email a little while ago. I said, I like good IPAs. I'm going to keep saying that with all these videos because um, some people have this impression that I don't like them. I do. I do. I do. I do. The good ones. <laughs> Side note, the bottle of Cerise Stout Imperial I've included is a high fill from our recent bottling run. It's not even available for sale in Louisiana yet. Though the beer will still be delicious, we do not recommend cellaring it due to the lack of head space in the bottle. It will best be enjoyed fresh, and yes, and that's what's going to happen right now. I didn't know, I had never heard that expression before, uh, high fill. What is a high fill? I don't know a lot of these terms. It's filled high, but is that a special kind of way of the bottling or something? Okay, um, okay. I wanted to show all of these. Now, some of them aren't right there, but I'll. Japanese plums are coming in so ripe. I'm gonna eat. I'm going to eat some more today. They also sent me this glass, distilled brewing glass. How you like that? And they sent me some can insulator and a couple of stickers and all these beers. And I'm, I have three extra cans of the Vertex IPA. And I'm gonna. I put that already on the internet. Y'all want some beer? You know, I want to share it. And um. And then I have uh, an extra bottle of that wild sour red ale because I'm going to drink one of them. I also have some extra cans of tankered, old tankered ale from Paps, but okay, it's not a Paps video. Look at that thick beige head. I mean, come on. That is so dark. Now, it's cloudy out here, okay? There's a little red reddish brown coming in around at the bottom where this you know the light we have is hitting it it's like around 70 they said it was going to get to 74 today i don't think it will it's soft the air is soft from the humidity but still very comfortable here mm -hmm. i 
I don't really like cherries and beer, to be honest, but it's not about do you particularly like cherries and beer? It's about is the beer well made? I try to say that in these videos. It's not a personal preference issue. It's a quality issue. I'll be the first to tell you I don't care for wheat beers. I never think I want to drink a wheat beer. But I do reviews and they are some, there are some fantastic wheat beers. And there are some that aren't good. And I just soon not have any of them. But I have to base it on is it a quality product or not. And it's pretty easy to tell. I mean, right off the bat, you can tell if something's quality or not. Whew, that is sharp. That is cherry, bourbon barrel, you know, the wood aroma. <laughs> Canadian National Railroad. Tannic, like they said, tannic, the acidic from the cherries, uh, the barley malt, the breadiness, the dark roast, the creaminess, the wonderfulness. Oh. Don't gulp an 11%. Stout, because these things are really intense, right? So it's got such a slick, silky mouthfeel. It's heavy. <gasps> Ooh, that roasted coffee and chocolate is starting to shine through, and it has no coffee in it. It has no chocolate in it. It's just just the rich roasted barley malts. I really could chug this beer. I mean. I, I would never do it. <laughs> That's a big thing on the internet. You probably know that the chugging videos. Um, I never, I don't watch them because I'm not interested in them. But that's a big thing. And some people will say sometimes, when are you going to do a chugging video? I'm just not going to do it. Um, this will make some people angry, but it's bread toast oriented right it's like dark bread toasted dark bread okay that's the predominant attribute characteristic it's rich i mean it's so rich it's like fudge it's like german chocolate cake because there's even a bit a bit not much a bit of a coconut um note and the bitterness is there and it, it kind of like builds like when you drink the sip goes like up to bit, but it's not high bitter, but it goes up into the bitterness area, which is nice because it balances out this sweetness. Look at that head, all that foam. Dynamite. It is a bone dry finish. I mean, it's a bone dry finish. It rivals Bud Light. <laughs> And people, somebody was saying, how do you mean it's dry like Bud Light? Because Bud Light, it's like it finishes so crisp, it almost makes you thirsty. It's like you, well, it's probably by design, right? So you drink more of it, it makes you more thirsty, and drink more, and it makes you more thirsty, and drink more. That's why it's the most popular beer in America. So I'm drinking this out of a shaker. You probably could drink it out of um, well, maybe like that, that, you know, that highball glass I use oftentimes for my stout reviews or for whatever beer glass you may desire <laughs> and I think the more it warms and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drink it hot but the more it warms and develops and breathes it's gonna just become more fantastic it's not it's, it's not available in Louisiana at this time but it is wonderful. 98 out of 100 on a rapier. I can see that. I will go right along with that. I'm going to say this is... Okay, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb. And you're saying, are oh, you just saying that because they sent it to you for free? No, really, it's because... And, I, and I've paid a lot for beers sometimes that were just horrible. <laughs> like that. 
that anniversary North Coast beer that was like 17% alcohol. Ugh, I could still taste it. It was like coconut and alcohol. And then it wasn't any more enjoyable than Axe Head. And I finished off that big 24 ounce can of Axe Head, I have to tell you. But that was like $1.50. And that thing I bought from North Coast was like $12 or something like that, $10, some high price. But this one, if you paid a high price, you'd be happy. So it's world class. It's up there at the pinnacle of the beer, you know, the beer world. So I'll be interested to see what Massive Beer Review says. If he says, ah, it's just okay, I'm going to feel funny about it. But anyway, so laissez les bon temps relay. It has some carbonated some carbonation in it a world-class imperial stout one of my favorite types of beers and I'm gonna end this rather length lengthy review sorry for that by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana